hooked up with a kid, with a kid, because you thought he had a car, and you got pregnant by your kid, knowing him three months. 30-year-old Leilani and 22-year-old Gilbert met three years ago and hit it off. A year later, they moved in together. But after two years of cohabitating and having one child together, the pair are calling it quits. I thought I was getting with a man, but I got with a child. He's lazy. He doesn't take care of his responsibilities. But I just think that she lives in this fantasy world where everything has to be brand name. And she wants to be rich. She wants to be like Kim Kardashian, a celebrity. It's the end of the road for Leilani and Gilbert. Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Leilani Miller and Gilbert Lepe. The two of you have been living together for the last two years, and you do have one child together. And Ms. Miller, you have a child from a previous relationship. You no longer want to be together, but you have some financial issues you would like me to resolve, which I will uh, later on. But right now, I'm going to start with Ms. Miller. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this relationship and why you seek to end it here today? Well, Your Honor, um, I am eight years older than Gilbert. And so how old are you? I'm 30. And so, Ms. Mr. Lepe, that means you're 22. Yes, I am. Um, I thought I was getting with a man, but I got with a child. He's lazy. He doesn't take care of his responsibilities. He doesn't know how to, you know, handle his finances. He doesn't do anything. I'm the one that works. I'm the one that takes care of everything in this relationship. Now, Ms. Miller, let me ask you this question. You've been with him three years, right? Yes. And you said, I thought I got with a man. What about 19 said man to you? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, he was 20 when we, when we got together. And the question remains, what about 20 <laughs> says man to you? Well, uh, he had everything together when we first met. He was what working did he have good, together? He was working a good job in the union, in the carpenter's union. And I thought that he was stable. He, he led me to believe that he was stable, that he had all his stuff together, that he had a car. He picked me up in his brother's car and portrayed that he had a car. He didn't even have a car. Now, during, during the course of your dating, uh, did you come to find out what he really did and did not have? Did you go to his house? Did you see what was going oh, yeah. on? I went to his grandmother's house where mm -hmm. he was living. Now, what did that tell you? <laughs> what, what did that say to you when the guy you're dating is living with his grandma? Well, that was a big red flag for me, mm -hmm. and... I could have, you know, ended the situation then, but you I gave him. Could have ended it then. I gave him a chance because he told me that he's going to get himself together. Let me ask you this: When did the baby come? How long had you been together before you got pregnant? It was probably about three, four months. It just happened. It was no, it didn't just happen. <laughs> It did, you know what I mean? If, if you go out on the street and a piece of paper flies up and hits you in the face, that just happens. <laughs> did, nothing flew around on its own. Every, everybody put things where they put them, knew they were going, <laughs> and they knew what could happen once it got there. Right? Right. What were you thinking? Seriously, you're 22, think that's why. you're living with your grandmother, you're having sex, are you thinking, hmm? I didn't think she was going to be, she was going to get pregnant that fast, but. <laughs> what biology course did you go to? <laughs> I don't understand. Do you think it, it takes a whole lot of time to have a pregnancy? You don't, you didn't, nobody told you? No. One egg, one sperm, that's it? It just takes one time. Holy moly. When divorce court continues, has Gilbert truly made an effort to contribute?
to this relationship. He doesn't make money. I'm the one that provides working, for our daughter. You get unemployment. Uh -huh. I contribute. That's what I can. Are you looking for a job? Are you considering getting married but aren't quite sure you're intended it's the right one for you? I'll give you my opinion. Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222. her boyfriend Gilbert does little to provide for her and the family. But Gilbert claims Leilani wants a champagne life on a beer budget. Are, are you a wannabe baller? You say she treats you like a baby and humiliates you. Why don't you explain that to me? She does. Honestly. And she's always <laughs> being controlling. Because with anything, with money, if, if she makes money, if I make money, it's automatically hers. And she's going to go he spend it on money, makeup. He doesn't make money, Your Honor. He doesn't make money. I'm, I'm the I'm one that provides working, but for our daughter. I do get unemployment, uh -huh. and I contribute. That's what I can. Y yeah, but unemployment. Are you looking for a job? <laughs> yes. Oh, that was such a weak yes. It hollered no. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. Mr. Lepper, I'm going to leave you alone for a little bit. Right now, I'm going to give Ms. Miller an opportunity, because I've been fussing at you. And I want to give you an opportunity to tell me what your concerns are about him. Well, Your Honor, uh, one of my concerns is he's very, very insecure. I do music videos, I do promotional modeling work, and when I go off to one of my jobs, he worries that uh, I'm gonna get taken away from a guy that's on set, that has money, and that's gonna flash it at me. And it's just like, why? Why would you not be confident Does he, enough. Is he blowing up your phone? Is he yelling at you? I mean, what's he doing? Or just not letting you go? No, I have to go because I'm doing this for my kids. Right. I want to put food on the table. I want to get things that they need. And he doesn't want me to do the videos. He doesn't want me to do the promotional well, he's modeling. He's lying right now, putting up a big act in front of the judge right M now. Ms. Le Mr. Lepe, do you have a problem with her doing her job? I don't have a problem with anything, but I just think that she lives in this fantasy world where everything has to be brand name, and she wants to be rich. She wants to be like Kim Kardashian, a celebrity, and right. be in that type of lifestyle. What and that's woman why doesn't these... want nice things? Uh, are are you a wannabe baller? I mean, do you want to have correct. all of the... You know, I he's going to take you. She wants to be somebody that's that she's not. That's what every woman wants. I mean, I don't, I don't know what woman doesn't want to be. You just have to be don't real about it. Just tag be us with what all you have. with that. <laughs> don't be tag us all have. with that. You don't yeah. provide hey. anything. Okay. You don't provide anything. But he's all 22. These, didn't you see yes. he didn't have the means to provide you with anything? Right. But, Your Honor, simple things. Like, there was a time where he went off and... The car that I paid for, actually, he went to a car meet with his friends. There was no diapers for the baby. I was calling him over and over again. He wouldn't answer me. Who does that? What kind of man leaves his child and his woman with no diapers? Do you want to respond to that? That's incorrect. There was diapers and everything that she there needed at no home. There was no diapers, yes, Gilbert. There was. there was no diapers. Yes, there was. Mr. Lepe, do you feel a bit manipulated? I feel disrespected. Explain that to me. She always disrespects me, like puts me down. I'm 22. I'm young. I don't know anything. She's 30 years old. She's supposed to be acting he like 30 year old. Don't act like he a needs a job to provide for his child. So Come my on. question to you is, Ms. Miller, would everything be resolved if he could make some money and bring it home? I think, I mean, we still have that our would issues. Resolve it because hang on, hang I on. think that if he were to contribute something, I mean, who can just go out and even like mow lawns or clean houses? Some type of income, nothing. He doesn't provide anything. Does he take care of the house at all? Does he take care of your daughter while you're gone? Is he, he and, takes and care your other child? He, he takes care of the kids, and he does cook, but he doesn't, like, pick up the house the way that I expect him to. Yeah, because you're so OCD, and you want everything to be a certain way. When divorce court continues, is it time for Leilani to rework her wish list?
You want a guy with a full-time job, a car, and knows how to handle his finances. Yes. You know, you're not looking for a guy who's caring or loving or any of that. You, know, you, you just want some cash. Do you think Leilani expects too much from Gilbert? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Leilani Miller, who wants Gilbert to get his financial game together. But does Gilbert have a good reason for his money woes? Why haven't you progressed? Why has it been so difficult for you to become employed? What's standing in your way? Your Honor, pretty much he is not the standard of a man that I want to be with. Yeah, well, I have, I well, have, if you don't want to be standard? with me, then why don't you, you just Give me a me? list. What, what, what are you looking for? I'm looking for someone that has a full-time job. Has a full-time job, okay. Someone that has a car. Has a car. Someone that has a good head on their shoulder and knows how to keep handle of their money and finances. Okay. And that's pretty much the... So with the finances, you're the one that you, you earn money and right away you want to go buy a lipstick, $20 lipstick. Ms. Miller. You want a guy with a full-time job, a car, and knows how to handle his finances. Yes. You know, you're not looking for a guy who's caring or loving or interesting or intellectually challenging or any of that. You know, you, you just want some cash. No. That's what it is. That, exactly what it is. No. She just needs the money. That's all she no. sees. All the expensive things. You can never just be happy I mean, with what you I have. I mean, I mean, you know, as gold diggers go, Ms. Miller, if that's what I'm you are. I'm not a gold digger. Yep, gold no, digger. I'm not a gold digger. You, you, you're I'm drilling in an digger. empty mine. You have to provide and for your children. she's always on the social media provide comparing for your me children. to. Where are, where is he going to be in five years? He doesn't know. He has no type of plan. No plan. Nothing. What type of plan do you have? Going out to these music videos every day and trying to be somebody you're not? I'm making money. She's How lying. are you doing with the music videos? Just like I mean, said, I mean, do you I mean yeah. are you making money? Is, it, making, is it steady work? Uh, yes, or? it's steady work. I, from the morning <laughs> till the night, I'm emailing out my resume, and I'll book, like, five different jobs for the week. What, it, what do you do with the music? Are you a dancer or what? Uh, of course. Just a dancer holding the bag, the money. Everything that you dream about, Mr. That you want. Mr. Lepp, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Well, that I'm you can't provide? That hey, you hey, can't hey, provide, hey, right? Hey, hey, okay, Ms. Yeah. Miller, what do you do in the music video? I'm just, you know, background actor, whatever they need me to do. Like an extra, a extra, walk on, yeah. if there's a crowd, you may be in it. Well, you know, also dancing and just whatever they ask me to do. Yeah, dancing That's while they throw money at you. Are, are you a professional dancer? I mean, do, are you trained? Or? Uh, yes, I have been trained. <laughs> so you've been together for three years, living together for two. Why do you want to end it now? Because nothing is changing. Nothing. <laughs> it's still the same. You're I'm expecting him to progress, and he's not. Is that exactly, what you're telling me? Exactly. He wants me to progress to be like a, a rapper, baller, so I can... Just she no, wants to wake up I every day and work go like a normal human being. Let me ask you this, sir. Let me ask you this. A normal human being is not good. What? Let, let me ask you this. Why haven't you progressed? Why has it been so difficult for you to become employed? What's standing in your way? It's just my uh, whole car situation. I don't have a car at the moment. You don't have a car. And, and remember, I idea. paid for the car that he had before. I was the one that was paying for it. What happened to it? It got taken away. What, repossess for non-payment, or? He got it from a friend. The friend supposedly was going to take the payments to the dealer. Mm. We don't know what happened to our money. Yeah, you just she throws got that it. little $400 in my face, but I don't throw the 4000 that I spent on her when I got my tax money. I didn't have no problem. What did you spend that $4,000 on? It was mostly all her, just clothes, makeup, shoes. Is that, is that right? Got when he got his tax return, you went when, out and got clothes, when, makeup, and shoes? Yep. Yes, I did. Yep. 
but also we were going out a lot. We did have the car. We were going out to eat. Yeah, the money. Yeah, controlling, being controlling, like always. You wanted to go out and do these things as well. It's not just me. Yeah. So don't just put it on me. Yeah, you wanted to go out you. too. You're the one that always wants to be at the finest restaurants. I can never take you to a two for 20 deal. It has to be <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not being cheap, but. I'm not being cheap, and I'm just thinking about my daughter's expenses also. Oh, I don't want to okay. waste $60, $70 on a meal. When Divorce Court continues, Judge Lynn serves up a dose of her specialty, common sense. You want to live a life of show. You want to live a life of balling. If you hardly have any money, but you're going out to the mall buying shoes and flat screen TVs. Do you think Leilani expects too much from Gilbert? Divorce Court returns with the case of Leilani Miller, who was 27 years old when she started dating then 19-year-old Gilbert Lepe, but now is in Judge Lynn's court to end the relationship and dissolve their living arrangements. So, Ms. Ms. Miller, at the end of the day, you are seeking $125, which you say is the amount he received when he pawned the television, correct? Yes. In July of 2013. And you also want to make sure when you two separate mm -hmm. that you uh, maintain the 47-inch smart flat screen TV valued at $440. Yes. The flat screen TV. Yes, that was a birthday that present. That was bought with my money. That was a birthday present that you got me, but every time you get mad, you try to take it away and say that you didn't get it, and that's your so, TV. So does, does he, like, take it off the wall? He or? takes the extension cord off and, like, goes and hides it from me. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lefe, do you, when you get mad at her, do you take the extension cord off of the equipment? Yes, I do do that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, in return, Mr. Lepe, you want $3,483, which you say is the amount of personal items that she purchased on your credit card in the summer of 2012. Is that That's accurate? She told me that she was going to go out and buy just one item, and I trust her. But I give her the card, and she comes back home with, like, 20 bags and, like, spends, like, about 500 at once. Do you have any... Credit card statements or something to show me? Yes, I do. Yeah. I have the... Let me see that. Now, tell me about this $125 that he got when he pawned the TV. Yes, he pawned the TV when we needed money, and I want to get my money back, and I want to get my TV out of the pawn shop. <laughs> you two have a storefront problem. That's all you are is a storefront. All you are is the name on the top and the facade, and you've got a really pretty name written, and there's nothing inside. You want to live a life of show. You want to live a life of I'm balling. You, you hardly have any money, but you're going out to the mall buying shoes and flat screen TVs. You've got two children. You don't have any money saved up. You don't have any regular gig. You hooked up with a kid, with a kid, because you thought he had a car, and you got pregnant by a kid knowing him three months. I mean, you have to put the blame where it belongs, which is where you are. You're looking for all the blinging and the singing and everybody wants to be out there and you don't have any, any basis. There's no center, there's no solid, there's no education, there's no purpose, there's no place you're headed. You've got no, you've got no vision, you've got no goal. All you want is bling. <laughs> Don't invest in shoes and flat screen TVs. Invest in condoms. It'll, it'll serve you better. It really will. You two made this mess. You guys are going to have to clean it up. At no point in time has either one of you demonstrated to me that anything that you're asking for you deserve. You were out there living, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. It was a big mess. You're in it together. There's no way I can award you what you willingly gave to her or you what he pawned in order to make you guys uh, keep body and soul together. Grow up. Both of you. Slow up. Both of you. This matter is adjourned. There will be no recovery. All right.